Hello everyone, we have a Samsung 870 EVO in for data recovery. It was made in 2021 and it's already failed. That's only three years. Now the owner of this SSD brought it in for data recovery because it stopped detecting on their computer. And we found that it's got almost 1.5 million bad sectors. So when it's got that many bad sectors, it's game over. These SSDs just freeze computers, they won't boot, they don't respond, they won't detect in the BIOS. Uh, the, the owner bought one of those docking stations and he tried to clone it and he got nowhere with it. It's just got way too many bad sectors. So. Uh, for me to recover data off this, I just clone everything around it and, and I'll give the data back that way. But while we're here, it's always a good idea for me to do some low-level research on these products. So I want to see if I can learn some more about the diagnostics of this because no one really does research in uh, the data recovery field. Only a couple of companies globally do it and we love doing it we love to record everything so we can better understand these products when they fail when they come in so i'm going to open it up um, there's a couple of hidden screws and it uses a 1.5 meter sorry a 1.5 millimeter pentalope screw so i just find out where the screw is and i can open it up let's have a look inside not much to it is there so if we flip it over and have a look on the back, there's two components I instantly recognize, this one and this one. Uh, those are load switches. That's a RB990, and down here we have a 13XH. So they're common on a lot of uh, Samsung SSDs, and this is why I do this research. I want to know what parts are common to other models, so when I need them, I know where I can find them. So these load switches, they're kind of like... Uh, controllable valves for voltage up here seeing this uh, diagnostic port corroded that's a bit unusual I don't know why that's corroded um, you would think moisture would have to get in for that to occur it's also the same on the other side also would like to know what this um, does it looks like it's got some kind of quick plug for Samsung to quickly test so I wouldn't mind investigate this and see if I can find out what this diagnostic channel does. So let's have a look at the top side. It's got a single NAN memory chip over here, uh, one terabyte. The CPU is this one here and is a S4LR059 from Samsung. We go over here, we got our DRAM and it is a SEC052. Um, and down the bottom here we have a kind of unmarked power management chip so usually I see them more marked than this so I don't think that means anything but let's have a look at some of the voltages and test points with voltages so that we've got information on this for testing Let's go up to, let's have a look up the top here. First thing we're going to see over here, up here, is the E-Fuse. So if we have a look here, we have got 5 volts input. So this takes 5 volts. And you can see in this section, that's the output of the E-Fuse. Here's a good test point here. 5 volts. So if you don't have 5 volts here, you want to be looking at the fuse and circuit. Now let's go down to the power management chip. It's pretty obvious to me this is a power management chip because it's got all these inductors sitting around it. So let's have a look at all the voltages this little chip can produce. Let's start at, let's start up the top here. We'll say, we'll start here at 12 o'clock. That does look like a possible inductor. So 1.8 volts. Uh, on the side here, 5 volts. That might be the input side of this chip. Then we're going to go down to this beauty, 1.2 volts. Uh, what's this one? I have nothing. Produces nothing. Let's just check our probes. Uh, 0.8 volts. Is that working better now? Yeah, okay. So that's definitely one of the voltages. 0.8 is common. This big one here, 0 0.8, is that all related? Maybe not. 0 0.8, 
and we got 1.1, 1 1.1, 1 .1, so volts up here. I'll make note of this. This way, if we ever have any problems on any of these voltage lines, I'll know exactly what's happening. Down here, we got some kind of uh, debugging output um, pin from Samsung. I really want to research this more. While we're here, let's have a look. 2.5 volts, 2.5 volts, possibly ground, ground, 1.8 volts. Don't know. 2.5, 2.5. So that might have something to do with the NAND. 2.5 volts is common for Samsung over here. If we have a look at this capacitor here, we'll see possibly what the NAND voltage is. 2.5 volts, which is common for Samsung. So, what's up the top here? That could be the ground side. Uh, is this one connected or not? No, it looked prominent. And we've got little caps and possibly resistors for communication, I think, significant for power management. So, I'll make note of all that. If you guys want it, I'll publish it on the webpage. Link in the description if it helps you help diagnose electronics issues with this Samsung 870 Evo. So you're probably wondering, like me, where's the 2.5 volts coming from? Well, let's flip over the SSD and have a look on the back. We've got another output from the power management chip. And if we probe this inductor here, we can see there's the 2.5 volts.